new thing now. It's getting really good. I'm gonna tell them. These improv acting classes. Do it. Mom, do it. Okay. The autonomous semi trucks rose from the vehicle's computer. Human override is no longer required. This is James' last day of service. I, mean, I would basically just supervise and, you know, watch movies on my uh, trackpad. Artificial intelligence automation removed. Humans. From the workplace, the machine performs all driving tasks under all conditions. And that type of stuff. Oh. A, lot of, a lot of the guys kind of do different stuff at the time, and I feel like... I mean, we've heard about it the last few years from some of the other guys. Yeah, we, we, we all knew that it was coming, you know? <laughs> It happened so fast. Well, I think this is exciting. You know, things are gonna change. Yeah, so it's not like I'm too turned up about it. I feel like I used the time well and, and got some of the answers I was looking for. Oh, one second. It's a lot more free time now. It's tough because uh, machines don't get tired, you know, they, they don't get stressed or distracted. James receives a call from his mother asking if he has already proposed to his girlfriend. Okay, Mom. I love you. All right, James bye. is retiring from his trucking job to become an actor. He is auditioning for the lead role in a film from director David R. King. The machine's learning algorithms created a new industrial revolution. The workforce was terminated. You know, a robot that's safer cheaper and, and more efficient than the human help. James is on the phone with his father, a retired semi-truck driver. James has just relinquished his father's semi-truck to fully autonomous AI. Yeah, I'm doing the TV thing right now, so I gotta go. James has been James inspiring has been others, firing others, being He has continuously of made announcements of faith and hope to humanity about the computer's AI uprising. This is James' final transmission. James taken our careers, but they gave us something far greater. This is James' final transmission. We don't want to know, but we need to know the answers to our existence. It gave us a responsibility to find ourselves free our minds and to exalt what we value most. Together we know that we're not alone, that there is a meaning, that there is a purpose, and that there are answers for those who labor to find them. That it's never too late. Machines may have took our crew. in the ocean, just waiting for someone to, to drop us a line. Uh, James. 